Hey, Tankers. Bonsai Duck here. Today we are in our, uh, what is this, the Hotchkiss EBR. It's a Tier 7 uh, wheeled tank with a 75mm gun. We are on mines in an encounter battle in a, what is that, oh, 35, yep, 357 Tier 8, Tier 7, Tier 6 game. Uh, was watching uh, Guido 1212 streaming and he was playing his EBRs and I thought, well, you know, I'm, I gotta get grinding on mine. Uh, so I just played it along with some other lights uh that day and first couple battles were very painful uh because i was not used to driving it and doing really stupid things not that any of my other battles were really great i do have a couple good ones which i'll show you but you know most of them were were fairly terrible i think i ended the night on a 13 percent win rate yeah I, i'm i suck i'm not terrible but anyway, <laughs> but the EBR, this EBR is, is kind of gives you the ability to really start feeling how the wheeled vehicles are going to be. You, you kind of get that speed both forward and backward. Uh, you know, you, you really start relying heavily on the uh, auto aim because you don't want to stop in these tanks. You, you don't want to stop moving if you can avoid it. Uh, you try to uh, on a map like map um, on, a, on a map like mines. It's it's hard because you can't just really rage around, you know, real fast because there's too many heavies, too many big guns that would cause a lot of damage to you. And these things are like paper, right? So you get yourself into an area. You know, I'm going to eventually push up on the hill, and and do a lot of my stuff up there. And I'll probably stay up there too long when I should have come back down and and used my my speed. Um, so that's the other thing is, you know, knowing when to kind of, um, you know, stay back, you know, maybe go out there, get a quick light and get out of the way. And then, you know, kind of just harass and poke and prod and, uh, you know, find, find the area where you can, you know, blitz through their line and get into the background. And then that's, that's the, that's the, the use of these things, you know, the, just the massive speed. So anyway, like I said, we started over here, we spawned over here in the um, Southwest and, uh, I wasn't going to go for the hill, but I figured with the speed, let's give it a shot. So here we go. Now I'm making a direct run to the hill. I'm a little nervous, thinking I'm going to run into something that I really don't want to run into. Uh, the Bat Chat 12T, he looks like he might be with me on this one, so we have that. There's a 5916, which I managed to set on fire. And I just, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Okay, he's down. Now I got their Bat Chat chasing me around. Oh, oh, oh. I managed to hit him. I take another hit from him. And now we're just playing Dueling Rock. And he really, really wants me. He wants me so bad he's ignoring our bat chat. <laughs> and I just pull out. I'm going to take another shot from him. Up oh, there. And now he's down. So, I mean, that's, that's being focused. Focus to the point where he wanted me as not even defending himself against the other bat chat. I'm not sure why. So we've taken the hill. Uh, they've sent their heavies and other tanks over to the to the cap, trying to cap out. And this is the problem of being this this tank on this map is very hard to get around. You're not going to get a lot of uh, action up here because you can't. It's hard to turn. It's hard to move. If you can get, you know, at an angle, you know, where you can go forward, backward, forward, backward, poke in, poke out, poke in, poke out. It works very well. Um, but here up in this area where you got to make some quick turns and stuff like that, it's a little difficult. But we, we make it work. So, we're by no stretch of the imagination won this game, although we have um, managed to stall them up a little bit on the base. We got that 71 command car over there. I'd really like him to just poke out. Uh, come on, buddy. Come on, show me some love. You know you want him. You know you want it. And then I hit the wrong button and almost go raging over the edge. <laughs> So I was really, I was like, oh no. And, uh, 
target up on him. Pull back, pull back, pull back. There we go. So, we got to reset, cap some, reduce some capture points. I thought, okay, well, we'll come back over here. Now, the nice thing about this tank is if I can get it turned around here, you know, I can put it in a reverse, uh, you know, poke out. And I really kind of waste too much time trying to hit this 71. Because he goes raging here in a little bit, you'll see. So we're going to make him out a little bit. There's that 71 again. Just miss him there, but now he's going on a tear. Alright, can't get him in there. Come on, poke out. Poke out. And I just missed him. Alright. Alright, so he takes care of the RHM. Miss him again. And now he's down. Okay. We got the J Panther over here and the AT-15. This was the point where I should have made a better such better awareness of the map and said, okay, I can now start raging. Alright, we got the AT-15 isolated over here on his own. Uh, 3485 and a J Panther back there and two E25s and an M12, right? And that's pretty much it. We, now there's another already out there somewhere that hasn't been spotted. Uh, so I see the E25s are starting to move. And yep, they're raging across the, the island. So I figure now's the time where I should probably... I really want that 3485. I really want to hit him. I don't know why. I waste a lot of time with him. But anyway, decided, okay, now's the time to go out here and help these two uh, E25s that are trying to flank, and they're, they're trying to get in and take out our Artie. Trying to be the little trolls that we all know that that tank can be. Using my speed, my somewhat stealth against two E25s that probably spot me before I even, I even know I'm getting there. Auto aim. There's a shot. Auto aim again, keep the auto aim going. Oh, and I'm firing HE, so. Yeah. Yeah, critical hit. And now he's down. And now I know the other one's around here somewhere. Maybe he's gone too, so. All right, so oh, there's Artie. So now we've pretty much just cleaned up. It's two TDs and two Artie to hunt down. The AT-15 is he's tied up over there in the uh, in the back. Got the J Panther here up on the hill, uh, and the two Artie. You know, that's all that's left. So. know where the M12 is at. J Panther takes care of him. M12 fires over there. Man, I should get in there. I didn't turn quite sharp enough, but luckily that J Panther misses me. At this point, I figure, okay, I might as well just go backwards. All right, that was the AMX that fired at me, wasn't it? Alright, so now all that's left is the AT-15. Which, uh, we're circling in on him like buzzards, so you know that that's, that's going to happen. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, we didn't even scratch him. I'm not even sure I even hit him. <laughs> anyway, that's a victory. So, game plates. You know, Master Third Class, which isn't bad, you know. Um, like I, I think I have maybe... Seven, eight, nine battles in this. So, uh, forty-one thousand in credits. You know, two thousand four hundred and forty in experience. Got some other nice bling. Um, we came in what one thousand five hundred eleven in damage, four kills, eight hundred thirteen basic experience, uh, eighteen shots, eleven hits, six pens. Uh, some assisted damage. You know, three thirteen, but most of it was my own. You know, most of it was my own. 
uh, was running boosters, you know, credit boosters and uh, crew boosters. You know, I never I wonder why it never tells you what your your crew boosters, you know, your your your, uh, your crew personal reserves are adding to your crew. You never see that. It makes me wonder if they can't calculate and actually show me what's doing. Is it really doing anything, or are we just, uh, for lack of a better word, peeing in the wind, you know, whistling through the graveyard type of thing? Because they never show you that. Hey, this is what your personal reserve did for your crew, or here's the experience that went to your crew. That would be even better. Why can't they tell us? I mean, no, they they don't. Why can't they tell us? It's not like they don't have enough room, have enough room in here. But why can't they tell us? Here's the experience that went to your truck. You know, here's your total experience. Here's what went to your tank. Here's what went to your um, crew. Okay, and here's what went to free experience. Uh, you know, you don't, you don't, you, the the temp the the end the end game anyway i digress that's that's a chat for a later time anyway good credits <laughs> good experience um all in all i think a pretty good game you know took the hill uh put myself into a situation where i luckily that bat chat didn't just circle me and, and put me out of my misery and and luckily my other my bat chat was able to come up there and help and again, lucky that that guy was so focused, he wasn't going to do anything to to um, you know fight. <laughs> he wanted he wanted me so bad. <laughs> uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you know. But you know, got to go in. You know, got the hill. Was able to do some damage up there. Was able to go in and do some cleanup at the end. But I think you know that's that's what this tank really does. Um, anyway, my. Uh, Hotchkiss EBR on Mines Encounter. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Thank you for all your support, and thank you for supporting the channel. And please keep those videos coming in. This is Bonsai Duck out.